about the snakes? You got snakes around here? No. What? Where are the snakes at? <laughs> no. I think because uh, I don't know. Be Sometimes, yeah, we do have snakes, but not they. They fall so free to walk around, and uh, sometimes when there's no pandemic like this, we, we got a lot of people, so they get scared. Though they never been killed because we don't allow animals to be killed in here. Mm -hmm. but you wouldn't often see a snakes around people. I can't, I can't see a snake, huh? That's a nice house there. If you want to go in there, I'm in the Avery Botanical Garden, right? Yeah, in Ghana. The, these three that are so important uh, is this is called silk cotton. It's a cotton tree. Cotton tree, 500 years old. The reason why in the Gambia or in Senegal you're not allowed to cut cotton tree down or barber tree, especially cotton tree, because cotton tree was serving us for so many things. Uh, cotton tree. First, people were using these as houses before they built these elephant grass houses or malt houses. They do, they put the roof up there and they decorate it very nice and they live in there. And secondly, in those days, almost like 100 years ago, what happened is that every four or five years, village elders would come together. They looked at the boys age of 10 up to 15 years old three to four hundred of these boys and they took them to the bush in a place like this. In this village it happens before. They bring them under this tree, they do circumcision. The circumcision we do locally, there is no hospital at the time where people would go and get uh, incidated or nothing oh prepared. God. So they use knife and razor blades mm -hmm. and they just chopped it on. And but the night before the circumcision wow. they bring these boys together but they're never gonna tell you because you're gonna get scared. Because perhaps your friends, those have been there before, they might tell you the their experience yeah. Yeah. in there. So when they tell you what's going to happen there, you might run away. You might dodge away. They will not see you and hide somewhere away. So they never tell you. They always do this job. Tomorrow morning, guys, you remember, we're going to the market. You're going to have a good shopping for yourself. And we're going to buy, we're going to pay all the bill of what you, what you bought for yourself, what you get for yourself. So you're going to be happy when your friends together. The first thing in the morning, you see yourself in here. And what? Yeah. The doctor would be there. It's hiding eight. around the corner. Come, come, here. come and see. Come and see. Here. And you will have a line table right there. A small a table. Mm -hmm. And you got about eight men. You got four here, four there. Yeah. The doctor will be right there. And when you go in, because then they'll clean all the places. So when they clean, they put the mat on the floor there. So all the boys will be allowed to sit. But before these things will happen, they give them breakfast first. You have to get your breakfast, get full stomach. Then they will start, they're called by each family name. And you call you, you come in, you never knew what's in there. The moment you step in, these guys will just grab you really? and you get in. And they'll get your trousers out. The hands, the first one go in, then the friends knew what happened. Because the screaming and shouting, the yeah. friends will know this is not a a market that we're gonna go for buying. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, when they do that, for the older boys, for two weeks, everybody is gonna be in pain and crying. Two weeks. Two weeks. But the, the whole thing will take three months. That's 90 days. After two weeks, the healing will start. Yeah. And when the healing started, after the end of the another two weeks, make it one month, that's where our teaching will start it now. The teaching of what well, they teach these young ones, moral, discipline, respect. Because in our community, in, in our community or society we belong in Africa here, that's what they do. All the elders of, this, of the village have the responsibility. And this responsibility goes for all the children in the, in the village. Right. You know, it don't, doesn't matter if it's your child or not. It takes you, a village to raise a child. Exactly. Right. And you have a right. If he is not your child, you saw him doing something wrong out there, mm. you get a stick like that. Yeah. 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 Come, hey, come on. Hey, uh, come you on. You know about the yeah. switch. Yeah. You know about the switch. Hey, if he cried back home, yeah. the parents wouldn't ask who beat you. Right. They knew he did wrong. That's right. If he's not a lucky yeah. child, the parents will yeah. do. Beat him again. Black communities in America you, you hear that son? <laughs> yeah. So you yeah. say and that's that's how they teach us. And they say don't look don't look to the elder's eye directly when they're talking to you. It's wrong. All right? Mm -hmm. 
Hey, there are the people talking to you. You just don't look directly in right. their eye. It's a sign of and if you've got a heart in your, in your head, you have to take it out. And don't call them by their names. In here, when you're here, all of us, we young people, we call you grandpa. Even though you don't know even our parents, but you are a grandfather's one. Respect. And somebody, she would be grandmother or auntie. We have to call them like that, but not by names. Mm -hmm. And also, also, and your, your child, your child will be trained. The mothers will not be allowed to come in here for the next 90 days. Only men will look after these. Mm -hmm. that's, that's how we do it. So when the women cook 100 meters, they drop the food there and they will send all the boys to go and get the food and they bring it for the days here to eat. So, you so see, the boy stays here for 90 days? 90 days with the elders of the village. And, yeah. and during the night time, oh, it's see, lovely. They, 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 you see the firewood that we put this yeah, thing there? Right. They yeah. look woods, the fire, like big fire camp. And the fire lights everywhere are brighted. And the big drum, three big kind of drum. Doom, 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 doom. And the singing is dancing. You see these kids will be now jumping and dancing. Round, round. round in the fire and they're dancing. We all pass through. And there's a song. And after end of these three weeks, the last week of these three, week, three months, there's a song that says, we say the kids no. Like, you were here, but next week, Thursday, you're going home. You see, on the face of the kids that, oh, we love in this place, we don't want to go home now. Mm -hmm. Because they like it. Because they now got the teaching, they got moral, they have this addition. And they get love to each other, and that love they have to share it among all the communities and village they come from. So this is why in here, I don't need to call people. He doesn't need to call to come to me, I don't need to call to call to him. And he can come at any time, and the food is available, we share the food. That's the love we do. And also, not only that, this can be used, when you hit, it sounds hollow. So the people use it for communication, too. Like the drums. Exactly. They can use it for communication. So this is what we were brought up, how we brought up in this community, in Gambia, in Senegal. That's why you can see one of the most peaceful countries in Africa, you can only say Gambia and Senegal because we see our culture all the same. It's only when the French, after the Portuguese, when the French and the British came, they divide us. Yeah. But we speak the same language. All the language in here is the same in Senegal, and we speak, we share all the same culture. No different. No similar difference. Hope you got it. Yes. You want to get a picture, Beautiful. or we're going to move on to see crocodiles? Okay. So, so I'm going to the house. You want to go in there, you guys? Going to the house. I'm going in. I'm going in. Okay, yeah, good idea. Let's start going. Let's, let's some of us go in. Somebody, yeah, somebody give me a. Pick me up. <laughs> This is my brother. This is my brother. <laughs> black power. Peace and black power. Who? He got it. Yes, family. And my brother beautifully explained. Peace and power at the same time. Every time, every, everywhere we're taking you, it's the same story of us being divided and conquered. And, um, and that's why we talk about cooperative economics and talk about reconnecting to the roots yeah, and peace and black power. Building a strong energy. Everybody wants us to be united, economically united or economical independence. Legal families, so that's why we push. But sometimes I blame. Two days ago, I was part of a meeting to see the trouble in Africa. And I said this, I said, I'm so disappointed in most of our intellectuals in Africa, because when they go to America, Canada, UK, Germany, and France, and they sit with the prime ministers in the same university. And after all the university career, they got their masters, bachelors, or degrees, whatever, and these white people, we got these documents and they said, here yeah, we come, Europe or America, we come to build our, our homeland. When our people fly back home, when they get to the airport, they said, here we come, Mama, Mama, Africa, we come to destroy Africa. Because I can get it for more than a thousand years of our independence of Africa. After all our intellectuals, what happens to Africa still poor, while we still baking the white people. Yeah. That's why when the corona come, they, more people die in Europe and America than Africa, in Africa, but we suffered economically than yeah. they do because we've seen many times the package that's been given to the Americans and what the economical support that we given to the British and, and Germans and the French. In Africa, we do not get that. 
So we suffered more economically than them. Mm -hmm. And we are more natural rich than them. Yeah. So what happens to Africa? Sometimes we blame the white people. Yes, of course, they started. But our people come to complete the job because yeah. they come to destroy with all the intellectuals, so yeah. the knowledge they got. Yeah. So they're not helping the home mammalian to be what, where it's supposed to be. That's yeah. why we're still behind. Well, the African Great Union point. Is, is working to address that. And unfortunately, I think that a lot of the economies in the West are, are backed by their militaries. And the continent as a whole um, is going to have to develop you know, one strong borderless um, infrastructure or bureaucracy, and they're going to have to de develop a military too. Because, you know, letting Africa be free is not going to be an easy task. It's not what they're going to want to let they, you do. They, they would never want that set of No, no. But, um, see, yeah, I, I mean, I, I believe the African Union is trying to walk in it. Yeah. But what happened a few days, few years, this past two years, is that I would say ECOWAS the West African right. continent, did right. um, What happened to Gina Conakry and what happened to in, in Africa is so disturbing. And one leader cannot be the president for the one particular country for 20 years. No. It's practically impossible. Right. These Africans are serious about change yeah. to move Africa. They're more serious about um, being constitutional, do the constitutional coup d'etat. You know, you've been in the president for two times. The, pres the yeah. people of the country are very honest and genuine and have a love for you. They give a chance to be leader of their country for two times. You do 10 years, you don't. Then why will you change the constitution? Yeah. You want to go for third time. So yeah. this this happens in, in Africa. It happened in Gina Conakry. It happened and so in many, Senegal. Yeah, it happened. Many people die in the right. And Ekwa State can do anything about it. And when I remember in 2016, when Jammeh, our former president, lose the election, he wants to stay in power. They say, no, you cannot stay in power because you lose the election. Mm -hmm. Then you have to go. So if they force Jammeh to go, I'd never support Jammeh because he committed atrocity, human rights abuse, mm -hmm. no, serious human rights abuse. But if they can do Jammeh to go, they can say, hey, Mr. President, you've been for two times, 10 years, that's enough. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not only you that can take the country. Serious. There are young people that can do it give a chance to them to come with fresh ideas, right. Right. fresh knowledge, the country right. to go. But if they become moot about what happens, then you're creating something that will never end and somebody's going to practice. And I think that's what is, that's the kind of smoke we've seen coming in Senegal. Mm. And that's Senegal is our, you know, sisterly country. If Senegal is in trouble, Gambia will Gambia never be saved. Trouble, yeah. If Gambia is in trouble, Senegal, Senegal will not be saved. So yeah. we never want to see that to happen yeah. in Senegal. And yeah. Senegal would not want to see that happens in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. So the, the ECOWAS couldn't do that. And these head of states in ECOWAS, they're part of African Union. What did the African Union do to say, look, ECOWAS, you have to do, address that. We need to get two-term policy in Africa so we can count, hold the account of our leaders, of their, mm -hmm. their time in office. Abuse of power, money laundering, human rights abuses. Then when we do that, we correct these things. Africa we can begin to move on. Yeah. But I hope the younger generation get in the mind and the brain. Yeah. And they're gonna do it. Yeah. 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 Yes, we have to get them all ready for it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a big reason.